basically an observation center. And our little guy just turned off so we can't turn that up. But in this one, we have just brought in gobs of seeds and pits. All kinds of stuff. So basically, you are going to lay out a sheet. <coughs> and I'm not going to do that right now. But we have all these big pieces of fruit. So if you're in a pinch and you don't have time to go to the grocery store to get real fruit, we have a wide variety of fake fruit here and vegetables. But the best thing would, if you were to be running the center, run to the grocery store and actually get some of this so they can like cut it open and find the seeds inside and all that kind of stuff. So, and if worse comes to worse, we've got like lettuce seed, pumpkin seeds. Um, it'll say if it has a match on it or not for the, yeah, we probably have more seeds in here than you would ever want to mess with. But like, we've got everything labeled like here's cucumber, and then it matches up with the cucumber, that type of stuff. So this is purely an observation center. You just lay everything out on the sheet in some kind of organized fashion, however you want to do it, and then have the kids get out the magnifying glasses. These are all taped on. Now, if they want to actually get a seed out and like really look at it under the magnifying glass, we've got it in the baggies too, where they can get it out and mess with it. Because ELF is all about hands-on, cucumber seeds, all that. So, and this is where like if you have leftover seeds from gardening in the summer or years past, if you want to bring them in and share them either with your class that time around or with all the ELF. Mm -hmm. And then there's another center where they're going to be putting socks outside and trying to pick up some seeds. And we're going to want just some random seeds to chuck out in <laughs> the area where you're going to be doing the little sock thing that we'll need seeds for too. Um, oh, it says if you want to bring in ripe dandelions, I really haven't seen them a lot this time of year. Yeah. Um, you spray them with hairspray before you pick them and then the, all the seeds won't fly off. Just a little tip. Um, it says that it's no big deal if you actually know that this is actually a cucumber seed. Like, we're not big on like having to identify them necessarily, even though there are some of them are labeled. But if you bring in just some random stuff and you don't even know what they are, it's just an observation center. So, and then you want to ask the students to examine the seeds and the pods using a hand lens to look at smaller features such as ridges, indentations, and sometimes even tiny little hairs. And if you want them to break open the seed structures, Put them in water ahead of time, so those might be seeds you want to bring in, so that you guys can do that, and that's totally fine with us. Um, and then ask them, like, how might the seed travel? What's its texture? Describe its shape, its weight. Um, and then any adaptations that assist the seeds in travel. So one of the seeds that was mentioned in this um, outline earlier that we took out is a milkweed plant, and all of them are not ready to go yet but maybe midway through um, the classroom sessions, they may be ready. If you guys have ever seen a milkweed, you can look it up online. But those are one of the great ones that you open up and they fly away kind of like a dance line. And then the common seed traveler. This outline is the most handy. You want to zoom in? Um, this shows all the different so The first one's wings and parachutes hitchhikers, on the menu, by land, by sea, and shakers and springs. So those are all the different ways that seeds travel. So this is probably the most important handout for number one. And then there's some other handouts that are just random background information. We encourage whoever picks like these centers that if you have time to come in ahead of time to just read through these ahead of time. Um, these are great like background info. And then this one, these seeds are going places. Um, this is almost like first, second grade, um, almost looks like it's out of a weekly reader or something. So seeds spin in the air, seeds float in the water. This one's on the dog's fur. And then we brought in Velcro. There's Velcro in here somewhere. But anyway, um, Velcro was invented by somebody who had like one of these little hitchhikers stick to them and then they invented it to be just like that. So, from the great invention. So, and then um, one of the trivia facts for the center, um, they have found a coconut that traveled 1,200 miles before it actually reached land in Uruguay, and I don't know how they dragged it.